seven habits that will simplify your life. Did you know that the average person makes about 35,000 decisions each day? From the moment you wake up, to hit snooze or not to hit snooze, to what you're going to have for breakfast, what you're going to wear, how you're going to get to work, and what you're going to work on first. Our days are just filled with decision after decision. It's no wonder that by the end of the day, we're completely exhausted. But what if I told you that by adopting just seven simple habits, you could drastically simplify your life and reduce that daily decision fatigue. That's what we're going to be talking about today. Welcome to Don't Do This Guide. Today, we're diving into seven habits that will simplify your life. If you find any value in this video, please hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Now, the first habit that we're going to talk about is decluttering your space. When your physical space is cluttered, it creates mental clutter as well. Think about it. When you walk into a messy room, how does it make you feel? Does it make you feel relaxed and at ease? Or does it make you feel stressed and overwhelmed? For me, it's the latter. I can't stand having a messy apartment. It just makes it so hard to focus on anything else. But when my space is clean and organized, it's like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. So how do you actually go about decluttering your space? Start by getting rid of anything you don't use or need anymore. Go through your closets, your drawers and your storage spaces and get rid of anything that's just taking up space. You can donate it, sell it or just throw it away. Next, create a system for organizing the things that you do keep. This could involve investing in some storage solutions like shelves, drawers or you know, baskets. The important thing is to find a system that works for you and that you can stick with. And here's a little bonus tip. Once you've decluttered your space, make it a habit to do a little bit of tidying up every single day. By taking just a few minutes each day to tidy up, you can prevent your space from getting out of control again. The second habit that will simplify your life is to prioritize your tasks. In today's world, we're constantly bombarded with distractions. It's so easy to get caught up in the hustle and bustle of everyday life and forget about what's truly important. So, how do you actually go about prioritizing your tasks? Create a to-do list each day and then rank the items on your list in order of importance. Use the Pareto Principle, which states that 80% of your results will come from just 20% of your efforts. Identify the 20% of tasks that are going to have the biggest impact on your life and then focus on those tasks first. Another helpful tip is to break down large tasks into smaller, more manageable chunks. This will make them seem less daunting and more achievable. By breaking down the project into smaller chunks, you're making it much easier for yourself to get started and make progress. The third habit that will simplify your life is to simplify your wardrobe. When you have a cluttered and overwhelming closet, it can actually make it harder to get dressed in the morning. You end up spending all this time trying to find something to wear and then you end up feeling frustrated and stressed out before you even leave the house. But when you have a simplified wardrobe, getting dressed in the morning becomes so much easier. So how do you actually go about simplifying your wardrobe? Get rid of anything you don't wear anymore. This includes clothes that don't fit, clothes that are outdated, and clothes that you just don't feel good in anymore. Once you've decluttered your wardrobe, the next step is to create a capsule wardrobe. A capsule wardrobe is a collection of essential clothing items that can be mixed and matched to create a variety of different outfits. The key to creating a capsule wardrobe is to choose items that are versatile and that can be dressed up or down. And once you have your capsule wardrobe, you can start to experiment with different ways to style the pieces. The fourth habit that will simplify your life is to meal prep and plan ahead. Meal prepping does take some time and effort up front, but trust me, it's totally worth it in the long run. When you meal prep, you're essentially taking care of all of your meals for the week in just a couple of hours. This means that you don't have to think about what you're going to eat for breakfast, lunch or dinner every single day. So how do you actually go about meal prepping? 
come up with a meal plan for the week. Make a grocery list and stock up on everything you need. Set aside a few hours on Sunday afternoons to meal prep for the week. Cook up a big batch of protein, roast some vegetables and cook some grains. Portion it out into individual containers so that you can easily grab and go throughout the week. And that's it. Now you have a week's worth of healthy meals that are ready to eat. The fifth habit that will simplify your life is to automate your finances. When you automate your finances, you're essentially setting up a system where your money is automatically deposited into your accounts and your bills are automatically paid each month. This means that you don't have to worry about manually transferring money or writing checks each month. So how do you actually go about automating your finances? Set up direct deposit with your employer. Once you have direct deposit set up, you can start to automate your bills. Most banks and credit card companies offer online bill pay services. With online bill pay, you can set up recurring payments for all of your bills. You can also set up automatic transfers from your checking account to your savings account each month. And if you want to take things a step further, you can even automate your investments. Automating your finances is a great way to simplify your life and free up your time so that you can focus on more important things. The sixth habit that will simplify your life is to practice mindfulness. Mindfulness is the practice of being present in the moment and paying attention to your thoughts, feelings and sensations without judgment. In today's world, it can be really difficult to actually slow down and be present in the moment. But when you make a conscious effort to practice mindfulness, you'll start to notice a difference in your life. So how do you actually go about practicing mindfulness? One simple way is to just focus on your breath. Sit in a comfortable position and close your eyes. And then just focus on your breath as you inhale and exhale. If you find your mind wandering, that's okay. Just gently guide your attention back to your breath. You can also practice mindfulness during your everyday activities by paying attention to your senses. The seventh and final habit that will simplify your life is to set boundaries with technology. In today's world, it's easier than ever to be connected to technology 24-7. We have our phones with us at all times and we are constantly bombarded with notifications from social media, email and news apps. When you're constantly connected to technology, it can be difficult to relax and disconnect. So how do you actually go about setting boundaries with technology? One simple way is to just turn off your notifications. If you're constantly being interrupted by notifications from your phone, it's going to be really difficult to focus on anything else. Another way to set boundaries with technology is to create some tech-free zones in your life. This could mean having a rule that you don't use your phone at the dinner table or having a designated time each day when you disconnect from all technology and just relax. And if you're really struggling to disconnect from technology, you could even try doing a digital detox. So there you have it. Seven habits that will simplify your life. By adopting these seven habits, you'll find yourself with more time less stress and a clearer mind. Remember, simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. It's about focusing on what's truly important and letting go of the rest. It's about creating space in your life for the things that matter most. If you found value in this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Don't Do This Guide. Hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Thank you for watching and start simplifying your life today.